up and down. Hey, what's going on everybody? Callie Stormdoll here and we're jumping back into the world of Barbie Extra and this is number 15. She has created a lot of debacles online. Is this Raquel or is this her evil twin? Well, we're going to find out in this video. So this is Barbie Extra 15. That was the front of the box and this is the back. Let's get her out of the packaging and see what this girl is bringing to the Barbie Extra party. Hey Raquel. Raquel. Yes. And we have our mystery Raquel out of her packaging. Now, before we go into this doll, let's go over these accessories. Maybe these accessories will help us figure out, is this really a, a Raquel reboot? Are we getting Raquel back in the world of Barbie again? Or is this a twin? We don't know if this twin is good or evil, but we're going to look into this. So this doll actually comes with a pizza purse. Now this pizza purse, I said, hmm, this is very Raquel. If anyone is a fan of Barbie in a dream house, you've seen the episode where Raquel and Barbie were munching on pizza. This is giving more hints that maybe this is a real Raquel reboot. Let's keep going. These very fashionable shades, they're purple with the silver trim. Goes great with that outfit, honey. Raquel always loved to match her outfits and theme. Keep that in mind. Now we also have this cool phone. It has cat ears and a question mark. Who's calling? Now we all know, now wait a minute. Wow, this phone actually comes with a little stand. So if you wanna set the phone up, you can prop it up. How technological of Mattel. I'm surprised that they did that. And we all know how much Miss Raquel loves talking on that phone piece, child. Mm-hmm. Um, who's calling? Um, who's calling? Now, last but not least, we go into her little pooch that everyone gets in the Barbie Extra line. But there's something interesting about this pooch. Yes, they come with a twistable bow, removable shades, and it's a cute baby Dalmatian. But this is not the pet that Raquel had in the episodes of Barbie in a Dream House. She did not have a dog like this. She had a different dog. So now we're going to look over this doll who's featuring the Raquel mold. Maybe we can think of this as like Raquel's sister. You can see at the top that she comes with these silver clips in her hair, silver earrings, the silver necklaces, which looks really good. And this secondary necklace features the lilac pearls inside, which goes with her shirt and her jacket. This is so beautiful. Let's get into this hair, which goes all <laughs> the way down to the top of her boots. And it feels like it's of a decent root. Yes, it's nice quality hair. It's falling nicely. It sways nicely. And as you can see, it doesn't look like we have too much of balding going on. So it looks like it is Oh, there's a little in the middle. It looks like it is of good quality. So let's turn her back around. You can see right here that this belt buckle is removable, meaning that this jacket is a separate piece. Jacket actually snaps. I love that Mattel has been recently incorporating these snaps into their outfits. And this is what the shirt is given underneath. All right, and this is what Raquel is given underneath her jacket she looks good like I love this look like they did good with this the, mm -mm, don't sleep on the Barbie extras they starting to pick up speed honey yes while we're still at the top let's get a look at this beautiful Raquel mold she looks beautiful this may not be the real Raquel but since I did not get the infamous Raquel doll that everyone everyone is in love with they give that little quirky smile I so wish I could have got that one. I'm just going to love this one just as much, you know? I'm loving the shimmery silver skirt at the bottom that looks really, really pretty. And then we go up to her boots, which look so cute. They're purple. They feature the silver buttons on the side. And they're kind of giving me like a monster high type of feel. The way her jacket is sewn, like they've sewn it so wide that she can't really lift her arms up any higher than this in the jacket. I'm not really a fan of that and I'm honestly the, the pizza purse is cute but I'm really not a fan of this either I'm probably not going to use it um I just wish I didn't even know the jacket was like that so ugh, I may try to maneuver that to get some cool shots but this does limit her mobility just letting you guys know 
Now, if you're new to the world of Barbie Extra, I did pick her up from Amazon and she was $19.99. Now, if you um, don't know about their articulation, we can go over that now. They do have head articulation. They can move at the shoulder, bend at the elbow. They have wrist articulation, hip articulation, and one bend at the knee. Now, you know at the beginning of this video, I was so interested. Is this Raquel? Is it not Raquel? Well, you know, I got so out of hand that I ended up calling up my homegirls. Yes, not one of the Barbie extras. I feel like they would cut her a break. I called up one of my homegirls from Barbie in a dream house. Hello, Callie. Hey, Summer. So, I want you to meet Raquel. And they look so cute together. Ladies! Now all we need is like a Nikki update and we can start to build the dream house again. This is so cute. Will we get a midge? That would be so cute. I can't wait. But I want to thank you guys for watching today and helping me crack the code. Do you think you're going to pick up this Barbie extra or do you think she's an easy pass for you? For me, it's nostalgic. She features the same articulation as the Barbie in a dream house dolls, which is very interesting. I'm like, is this Raquel? I think it's a Raquel stunt double, but who knows? Maybe we'll get one down the road. Another thing that I liked about these Barbie and the Dreamhouse dolls is that they feature real lashes. I wish they could incorporate that in these new Barbie extras. Who knows? Maybe we'll get that down the road. I want to thank you guys for watching today. Like, share in the comment section. But this Raquel doll, yes, it's something about her. I love photographing her. She gives me like Raquel vibes. You know, I love her accessories. I love everything about her so she's definitely now one of my top extras i feel like <clears throat> raquel is giving like met gala realness like i love it it looks so cool i'm so happy i got her i always think that i'm over the barbie extras and i won't get any more and then they start pulling stunts like this like i'm really looking forward to her and i want to get that barbie that's kind of like paris hilton inspired it looks like i can't wait for that one to come out if you guys see a link for that one, please drop it in the comment section below or in the community tab because I definitely want to get that one. Yes. Uh-oh. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster. Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text Or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down And I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get Sick of being the monster Out of my head Under my bed Think you're something Out of my Always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions, I wish you loved me like.